Squarespace. Yeah. Give you some type of content. I know I've been posting some shoe videos. Some of you guys email me like, hey man, I didn't know you were a shoe guy and all this stuff. I'm not a shoe guy. <laughs> I just, I just been trying to buy something and get into it. Point is, today we're installing a new wing on James Type R. I hope you guys love it. I love it. I personally love the Mugen Lift Kit all around, but the spoon wing is beautiful. I'm supposed to tell you guys that, but James has a brand new spoon wing. Let me make this turn, because, uh... Back to vlogging, who cares about driving right now? So yes, that's right, correct, confirm. It's If you follow him on Instagram, follow his Instagram, it's in the description, James. Leave a comment on his Instagram, let him know that PK sent you. Go give him a follow. There's probably another video out there how to remove the wing on the Type R. Or maybe there is, I don't I really don't know. But you guys get it from my point of view, from James and Ricky. We're gonna show you guys how to install the spoon wing. Kinda attach that here. What's up, YouTube? Uh, so I got PK's channel, cause he is late. And we are gonna do a little FK8 install today. We got something special. Uh, something that not a lot of people have, I think. You know, maybe comment below how many you think are out there. We got James's car. Rar FK8. Shoot. James found somebody that would sell the spoon wing, so he scooped it up. So we're gonna be taking this wing off and doing a little install video. He just got a little toe hook too. Just got his car ceramic coated and polished and everything over at the Detailing Pros here in Huntington Beach. She's beaming. Beamed up. The Mugens. You gotta take off the... Yeah, I you gotta take off this, off this and then take this off. This all comes off and then here. These two? Yep. So you have to take the whole hatch lid, basically yeah, the interior hatch. Come off too. Yep. There's a bolt in there. Pop the wing off. Yes, sir. One comes off first, I think. Yeah. There's your fluid line there, too. Yep. It's awkward yeah, holding the camera and doing this. Yeah, probably be easier that way. I remove these two. And then these handles. And then the handles, they have the little spot there where you pop them. Can you get it, Jimmy? Probably not. These things are hard to get. You want me to do it? Yeah. All right. Try it. There you go. Just need a little muscle put behind it. <laughs> See, these things are weak, dude. Look how yeah. white they turned just on that. And that was a good removal. Yeah, that was a good one. At least they're in the trunk, if like, you know. Yeah, just take them off, they'll save weight. <laughs> Two bolts in here. All right, I'll film you doing that. So you can see there's a bolt here and a bolt here on each one. So that'll hold this guy up. So we just got here with James and Ricky. These bad boys. So you hatchback guys you probably already know, but these go on here and pretty much to take them off. They're just, they're technically one time plastic clips. You're not supposed to reuse these, but I, when I did my tail lights, I, I, I reuse them. But yeah, so you pop this off first and then you work on this. So here, same thing. These are all um, plastic clips. So you could take it off here. Yep. So like you kind of, Twist it. Twist it off. Yeah. Same thing this side, so just twist it off this way. Towards the inside. Yeah. yeah, there you go. And then after this, at this point, if I recall, it's just all plastic clips. So you could just yeah. pop it down like kind of like a door panel. Yes, sir. Yep, there you go. So yeah. So if anyone that's taking off a wing, you guys or just just in general to do your high rev tail lights, it's just a bunch of plastic clips. These two bolts. Yep. After that it's just 
these two bolts. So these these wires here are for the tail lights. If you guys do the high rev or the medium tail lights, but it's taking me like 30 minutes, but James always has the electric tools. He's just like, all right. Right? I do always. Depending on your on you as a person, but ripping off those the panel. Oh, yeah. You kind of get scared trying to pull it off, and yeah, yeah. you just got to use brute force. Close the hatch. Supposedly you're supposed to do three holes, I think, on the spoon, yeah. right? One, two, and three. But uh, I'm just gonna do two and then double-sided tape the front. You know, in case I change, you know. You change your mind. Yeah, whatever. that's a good idea. The wing is off. You take off the OEM plastic clips. So, as we see, these are the two where the screws go. And then this is a plastic clip you remove. Oh, man. Look at this. Even the bubble wrap is quality. Oh. <laughs> This is JDM as Damn. So these are the little like feet for the uh they go on the actual Oh bar. on the on the hatch, right? Yeah on the trunk. Yeah. Nice. So these three are for the stand and then Yep. Uh, nice so for sure. Stand on first. So first you do the weather strip around it. Yeah. For um water leaks and then afterwards double tape just, just to be safe, right? So it doesn't get squished out. And that'll go real flat. This is the setup that James will be doing. So what he did, he's doing foam around for water resistance. And instead of drilling a third hole on his hatchback, he's just gonna tape it up with uh, double-sided. We're professional YouTubers, so we know what we're doing. But mm -hmm. I advise you to Check with you your... gotta use the adhesive promoter. Yep. Yeah. yeah, we can put some in here. Baby. That piece is nice. So nice, huh? Oh man. Let's start cutting the grass. <laughs> the question is which side goes which? So yeah. This one has a seal. Yeah, it looks looks like it's this way. Yep. James, has it hit you yet? Yeah. This is I, I think it, I think it's starting to hit me that you got a spoon wing. <laughs> It's like, watcha, 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 This is the only wing we're spending money on. <laughs> this is like straight up Porsche GT3 yeah. RS. New Porsche GT3 RS, that is. Christmas again, James. You! I'm so stoked, man. Yeah. All because I saw something. Yep, I'll, so yep. I'll, I'll be. Ricky. <laughs> oh, oh, I should, oh James thanks to Ricky. Wing. I got a crane wing. <laughs> we're going to start calling you the Black Swan. <laughs> The the dude song. called me the Godfather. Oh. <laughs> He's like, dude, hey, you're like the Godfather. You won't make no deal. Like, no deal. Four grand only. <laughs> we got James, the Black Swan, officially. Ooh. Officially, the, officially the Black We're Swan. Here, dude. Hell yeah. We all acting like little kids right now, but it's okay. It's so fresh, dude. So sick. <laughs> so sick. Oh man.
freaking stoked, man. This, this is pretty awesome. I can't, I, I'm not good on video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe for more type of content. Shout out to Ricky, James, Christina. If you guys want to know how to install it, hit up James. Make sure to subscribe. Laters. <laughs>